So we've made our way down to the founder's office, Jeff Maloney, who created the brand. G'day, Brett. Jeff's background, I mean, he grew up with his grandfather and father racing dirt bikes. Jeff and his siblings also raced dirt bikes. But you took a sabbatical, you took a break from dirt and got into making paddle boards, windsurfers, and yeah. did that successfully for a few years. Absolutely. Sold that business. Well, we had the bay at the end of the street. so Makes it a lot easier there to, you go. To, to get out there and paddle. But, but why get into knee bracing? What was the opportunity you saw in the differentiation? Okay, so uh, having spent some time producing uh, boards, basically yeah. surfboards, kiteboards, sailboards in Asia. What materials uh, like? Composites, fiberglass, all okay. sorts of materials. Lightweight. Um, back, in the, back in the day, if we, if we did a windsurfing jump and messed it up, the board would snap. So you start to pay attention to construction because you have a 20 minute swim in through the surf. So return to motorbike riding and got in touch with all my mates who are now pro riders and knee braces were always something that we aspired to but couldn't afford. The reason for that, they're medical products, they're very expensive, were never designed for our sport and the impacts and the forces are required. And given my background in composites, I knew the frame of the brace was never gonna be a problem. The barrier to market was the hinge and I had a great idea for a hinge. So is that because medical braces are rehabilitation they braces? Are. They're they designed are. to limit your range of motion, yep. not protect you while you're competing I mean, in the most extreme correct. sports. And back then they were $2,000 for one knee, like it was outrageous. And so creating a quality product at a good price always succeeds, right? Uh, the other part to that is you need distribution. So uh, we partner with Fox. So if you really want to recap our journey, had a great idea, patented a hinge and created a new knee brace, went to market with Fox Racing, the number one brand in motocross, and was very successful. So from the launch of that first brace, Fox was able to accelerate Pod's distribution. And let us do what we Fox do well. Distributed, exactly. Yeah. So you did design development and the marketing. I think it's important to touch on too, just the differentiation, because a lot of knee braces that people see when they go into a dirt bike store or order online today, still have a traditional medical hinge. That's yeah. what they're running with. You know, this urethane ligament with a Vectran fiber, a very yeah. strong fiber inside, how did you get the idea for the urethane? Came from windsurfing. Okay. So there's a there's a connection called a mass base that, that takes a huge amount of load and force. It's yeah. made out of urethane. And, and that really was a game changer. The trick, of course, is the urethane by itself will move in every direction, but you need the fibre for the strength. Yeah. So we got that mix right early on. Our whole philosophy, our team, we are market leaders in designing and developing orthopaedic products, right? First brace is launched with Fox, number one brand in motocross. We designed an ankle brace that's now being distributed by Dondroid, number one uh, brand in sports medicine. Yep. And we're now working with OSA, uh, the CTI brand. The coolest thing when I first started working with you is you were telling me about how crude the initial setup was. Out at your parents' farm in your dad's garage, Absolutely. He, he'd mechanically make up these jigs to actually test this. So why don't we go out there and actually have a look at some of the old legacy stuff. Let's go. Here we are, mate, we're on the family farm in the shed, and obviously a lot of good things happen in Australian sheds. It's awesome, I mean, the Aussie man cave, we're five minutes up the road from the office, and just to see the legacy stuff here, your grandfather's jacket on the wall, your, your dad's, yours, your brother's, all the siblings' pictures, and, and I can hear, obviously, the, the kids out there ripping around the fourth generation on the mini bikes. Mate, of course, next generation's well and truly underway. So what about next door, the machine shop? What, what did we create in here? Well, mate, that's, that's where it all started. I mean, in the beginning, we wanted something growing up on the farm we always made, and yeah. the knee brace was no different. So all the rough prototypes and the early fiberglass work was all done next door. So it's commenced as a family, uh, I guess, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, business, and continues to grow that way too. So a great Aussie success story. And let's go have a look at the little kids ripping around the track outside. Let's do it. Next generation's ready to rock. Mm -hmm. 